an issue, you know, um, he knew that if, if um, you know, oh my God, you know, sort of thinking, what the hell? So the cops give us a lift to uh, the Bali Castle. Took all the details of, um, of, of you know, with, with the people who were in the other car. So they survived, thank God, or else they went up in flames. Um, and I, I'm, I'm always going to be uh, wondering how I survived, you know, something that had that car going around like that. And us, because our car was rolled off, you know, that, that um, we got a new car, you know, afterwards on the insurance because our car was destroyed. But I managed to get out of it and run back and uh, and help the people out of the, out of the one that was spinning. Um, as I say, the cops came, you know, the police came, and, and they did help eventually. But they thought that you know <laughs> that I was in like a base on there. You know, they, they didn't know that I was, you know, in the other car that <laughs> you know had been biased. <laughs> but uh, but they brought us to Bolly Castle anyway. And um, I'm going to get, I'm going to comp compact this because I can see that this is going on far too long. Joe um, turned up and we decided that we weren't going to perform uh, on the street. So we went to the hotel. I rang Morris and says, we're not, we're not doing the street thing. We're just going to have um, a couple of beers and then we'll play in the hotel that night. And, uh, and the guy in the hotel um, said, fine, that's absolutely great. Um, we sat and played, and everybody loved it. The, the, this was on a Friday night. Everybody loved it because we were doing all these acoustic songs or acoustic versions of Bon Jovi songs and Black Crows, Bad Company, Free, you know, um, anything that could sort of be done acoustically but could still be classed as rock, you know. Um, and the manager came at the end of the night and said, uh, okay, boys, you know, but that, that, that was great. Um, and then I said, Look, listen, my wife has come along with me. Can we, you know, um, I, I, you're probably expecting to put me and Joe into a room together, but can I have a room with my wife and, uh, and Joe can have, and, uh, and he said, ah, okay, leave, leave that with me. Um, and he came back and he says, that's all right. You know, well, I've got, you know, room one, three, one or whatever. Um, but of course then Joe had, had to get a room and he had people along with him as well. And there were too many for one room, so they had to be split in the two rooms, you know. But the manager of the hotel was like, "You guys were great, you know. Whatever you need, you know. There you go." Um, and then we went back to our hotel rooms after the show, and then went back downstairs to the bar, and the, the bar manager said, um, "We're not closing, you know. If you want to bring the guitar down and uh, and do another reset." This was in a different part of the bar. Um, you know, you just can drink all night. And I was going, so no money, but beers, you know, he says, whatever you want, you know, work, you, you, you guys just work away. So, um, so Joe brought his guitar down and we did another gig, basically. But we had other people from the audience then singing. And then the next day was exactly the same, all day. Um, had a great day at the at the Lamas Fair. Got the the yellow man and the honeycomb and <laughs> did it did everything. Um, did a gig that night in the hotel. Went to the hotel room, got shard and whatever afterwards. Went down to the downstairs bar and the again the hotel owner said, "There you go. You know, just ask for whatever you want." So, <laughs> I think it was um. 6 a.m. or something <laughs> before uh, we all decided, you know, I can't, I can't drink no more. I'm, I'm, we've got to go home, you know. Um, and we went back up to our hotel rooms and had a bit of a sleep. And it was, we woke up about 11 ish, 12 ish, or whatever, um, and met downstairs. So <laughs> it was time to obviously square up. So I, I was looking forward to us getting, you know, whatever it was that Morris had negotiated. Um, thinking 300 quid, maybe 400 quid, you know, that, that would be fantastic sort of thing. And the, uh, the, the bar manager, bar manager came out and went, um, what can I do for you guys? And I went, we're, uh, we're, we're here to 
you know, square up, you know, square up things. And he went, oh, yep, the, um, uh, the girl, my assistant, will be with you, you know, um, within minutes sort of thing. <laughs> and, uh, and then off he went. And then the girl came out and she handed me a, a piece of paper, but there was no money. And then I looked at it and I went, what's this? You know, uh, uh, where, where's the bond, the bond fee? And she said, the bond fee? She said, you, you, there was like three rooms, whatever drink you had drunk, the meals that you had, you owe the hotel 300 quid. <laughs> and we're standing there.